Hey everyone, how is it going? In travel and landscape photography, when you have some architectural elements or for instance, uh, straight objects like uh, trees uh, in the frame and you are using a wide angle lens uh, like this, it's very common to get some perspective issues uh, like convergent lines. I saw many images on the web with this kind of issue and maybe they were nicely edited, but you know, sometimes it's a rocky mistake. Anyway, this kind of distortion happens when the camera is tilted down or up. Basically, when the camera sensor is not perfectly parallel to the photographed object. Tilting the camera up will cause objects uh, to lean uh, inward, whereas if we tilt the camera down, we will have uh, outwards converging objects. It's like a keystoning, but uh, kind of in uh, reverse. Usually most people uh, perceive a small tilting, like in this photo, as something incorrect. Uh, but if we tilt the camera at a more generous angle, people perceive it uh, as being uh, on uh, on purpose, okay? So they are happier with that photo and they don't usually complain. For instance, uh, this is a perfect natural perspective with no distortion because uh, our eyes would see this exactly uh, in the same way. Okay, let's see how to solve some common perspective issues we may encounter. I'm gonna start with a couple of very easy solving examples. Everything happens in uh, the Lightroom's transfer panel where we have uh, a lot of stuff. At the top, we have different auto correcting options. Uh, off means perspective uh, correction deactivated. With uh, auto, uh, Lightroom uh, uses uh, just an algorithm to automatically correct the perspective basis on the image content, uh, the lines in the photo. Uh, at 40, 50% of the time, it solves any perspective problem. Then um, you have a level that finds the horizon line in the, in the photo and makes it level. Uh, vertical, this one just looking uh, vertical lines and correct them. And full, uh, try to get everything correct. Sometimes the results are crazy. Uh, sometimes it works better than uh, the auto mode. It really depends on the image content. Underneath, we have uh, several sliders to control manually the perspective correction, vertical, Okay, the horizontal, rotate, and so on, okay? I don't use them very frequently, but sometimes I find uh, a few of them very useful for some tricky adjustments. Uh, in a minute, uh, I'll show you a few applications. Okay, let's start with this easy image to correct, uh, and then, then we will go through more tricky scenarios. Uh, I usually start uh, with auto and just see what's happened from there. Okay, with also I almost already solved the problem. Okay, it corrects uh, the horizon. And uh, let's see other option on how it works. Uh, level, same results. Okay, vertical. And the full. Yeah, I have uh, the same result. I think that Lightroom is uh, taking uh, the horizon line and uh, this part of the image and uh, this uh, uh, stick, okay, like this, like this, and this one, as a reference to correct uh, the image. Okay, as a first example, it's very straightforward. Next one, this is another very easy photo to correct. Uh, having a look to the column, Lightroom should have enough reference information to easily, like that, that. Uh, to understand uh, what correction we need to make. We have a slight uh, reverse keystone here, okay? So basically we have this kind of effect on the image. Uh, okay, let's try again uh, with uh, auto and let's see if we, we are satisfied with the results. Uh, okay, it's almost perfect, uh, almost. If we take uh, a look carefully here, Okay, the right side, the column is not uh, perfectly straight, so let's give a shot uh, um, at the other methods. Uh, let's try with level mode. Nope, doesn't make any difference, uh, vertical. Oh yeah, now it's, it's way better. And with full, yeah, it's almost identical. Okay, vertical or full in this case. Let's see the before and let's see 
the after. Now the columns are perfectly straight. Okay, let's see here and here. Nice job. Uh, I want to share with you a very handy function to help you to analyze the correction. On the top menu, okay, you do have to select uh, View, Loop Overlay, and you have to select Grid. Then using the keyboard shortcuts, Command uh, Option uh, O, where we are going to activate a grid like that. Okay. And uh, that's very useful as a reference to evaluate uh, the entire image. Okay, we can navigate the image from right to left, and we can see that the correction Lightroom's made uh, is uh, absolutely perfect. Okay. Then holding down the command key, keyboard key, it shows up uh, uh, a small pop-up window where uh, we can uh, adjust the size of the grid uh, and uh, the opacity. That's really cool. Yeah, it's a super handy uh, tool to use. Okay, next image. This is another wide-angle shot uh, I took in Manorola and to capture enough rocks uh, in the foreground here, I had to tilt the camera down. So we have uh, outward converging uh, buildings. Let's have a look. Okay, like that. This direction and this direction. Nice. Uh, so we need to address the buildings uh, in the town and the also the the horizon, which is a little bit tilted. Okay, as always, I'm gonna start with uh, auto here, uh, which is not doing so much. Just the horizon is uh, corrected and uh, not completely. The level modes uh, like the before Lightroom is addressing only the horizon. Let's see the before and after. And nothing else, a vertical, same story, and with full, no. My feeling is that Lightroom is a bit confused and it can detect enough distinct uh, vertical lines in the buildings. So this is a perfect candidate for a guided perspective correction. So I'm going to grab this uh, honeycomb tool. And to activate the tool, you can also click on the guided uh, button here. Uh, it doesn't matter. To make this uh, tool work, so you need to find uh, an edge that uh, you believe it to be straight. So I'm going to zoom in and uh, I'm going to take the edge of this house right here. I'm just going to click on it and I'm going to drag down to somewhere lower like that. Okay, so exactly along the line. Nice. The first vertical line on the uh, right side of the photo is pretty correct. And now I'm going to move on the left side, which is still kind of crazy looking. So I'm going to find a line here uh, on this house. It sure works nicely. Maybe or this one or maybe this one. Okay. Right there. And it should work nicely. Uh, option Command O. Let's have a look to the. Yeah, we are seeing more correction in the image, and that's that's perfect. Awesome. I want to give you a useful tip on how to use properly this tool. You can uh, proceed by trial and error. Okay, uh, drawing lines uh, somewhere at random, but the best approach is working on the edges placed on the far right and far left of the frame. If you place the vertical lines too much towards the center, the perspective correction won't be perfectly okay. Uh, here we don't have any object on the extreme right. We have a, an, empty, an empty space. But in a minute, we will see a more specific application on one of the next uh, images. The horizon is still not perfect here, so to complete the process, let's to create uh, another horizontal line here by drawing 
an horizontal line straight starting from starting from here to here like that and uh, here we go everything is correct now everything is uh, correct but unfortunately due to the perspective correction uh, we have these two big uh, white stripes uh, on the top right and the top left of the frame you can solve the problem in different ways but for this example i'm going to use the easiest one so the crop tool so hang on stick with me because in the last example i show you a trick that i really like to address uh, this stuff okay i'm gonna grab the scale slider to scale the image down and here you can see how the image uh, was manipulated uh, it really shows uh, what Lightroom is doing uh, to get the perspective right. After this, uh, I'm already grab the crop tool and I'm start to adjust the the frame. Okay, there. Maybe I can select one of the standard aspect ratio like the 4x3 which should be perfect for this image yeah it really works yeah done now the last image for this tutorial uh, the approach is very similar to what we have done with the manorola shot we have a, a distortion like this okay we can see here on this hot to address the perspective issues i just need to verticals correction lines so i grab my guided tool and i start to draw clicking from here along the edge of the hot there and then a second one let's see maybe this uh, hot works fine from here to here there yeah perfect let's check with the option command o zoom in and i think we are in business excellent every vertical lines is absolutely perfect now like before we have a two white stripes at the top of the frame and i want to show you uh, an easy fix to remove them without sacrifice too many pixels uh, i'm going to use uh, photoshop but before to do that i'm gonna crop uh, the image a little bit keeping the original crop ratio okay i'm looking here okay just about there okay and then um, i'm gonna right click over the image i'm going to select edit and edit in photoshop okay now we are in photoshop and my goal is to rebuild the sky and uh, maybe a small part here uh, of the mountains and of the land there are a million ways you can do this, but I will use my favorite and quicker method. So I'm gonna select the this tool, the magic wand tool, and I'm gonna click on these two empty areas I need to rebuild. I select this one, and then I hold down the shift key and click also in this left one. Then I'm gonna select on the top menu um select modify expand and i put uh, into this uh, field uh, one pixel then i'm gonna click on edit fill uh, make sure to have content aware selected and press ok and go on for a second and and boom done command d to deselect let's see how that works uh, 
That's pretty good, actually. Yeah, we have a couple of uh, flat areas here, but I think it's really good. Photoshop has done a wonderful, a wonderful job on this image. Great, that's it. Lightroom Transform tools uh, have some limitations, of course, and probably the biggest one is that uh, to correct some camera tilts, they tilt the entire image, which transforms the foreground, uh, changing the intended framing. There are other more sophisticated and advanced tools in Photoshop to solve more tricky perspective issues, but just within Lightroom, we can have perfect control for the majority of images we shot. For other videos on photo editing, check out the playlist here on my channel. I hope you found this tutorial useful, and if you have any questions, drop me as always a comment below. In the meantime, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Ciao!